Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. And before we begin today's video, I just want to thank my patrons, my newly subscribed patrons actually, uh, Jeremiah and Chris, for your ongoing support in the channel. That your patronage is really going to go a long way. And also, I just want to thank each and every one of you who is currently viewing this video or if you've seen my videos in the past. Or if you like or currently subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. It makes this transition for me going from a partial time YouTube content creator to a full time creator all the more easier. So, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So, today I'm going to be talking about. Uh, a set that is just absolutely broken in my opinion and I didn't really realize how impactful this set was and it's super common it's super cheap and it's just a phenomenal set um, one snafu with it is that you have to double bar but who cares so today we're gonna be talking about desert rose now I've tried to use other sustain sets on my mag DK builds but this set guys it gives you absolutely everything you need it gives you the armor it gives you the health as you need a max on a mag dk especially even a stam dk you have to be you know pretty tanky it gives you max of magica and the five piece it is so slept on so it gives you 2000 magic recovery every four seconds this is pretty much on a 100 percent uptime cooldown because you're always getting hit like four or five dots people's always hitting you this equates to about a thousand magic recovery all right so compare that to lich it gives you the uh the thousand magic recovery but it only gives it to you for 20 seconds yes of course it does stack and yada yada so you will probably get like you know 1500 magic recovery in the big scheme of things but nonetheless it fails in comparison to desert rose so this is essentially three times as good as the lich and you don't have to have like like check out my stats i'm going to show on a roll video of 1vx here in uh, just a moment but look at my magic recovery it's sub 800 800 magic recovery so we're going to kind of transition over to the uh, the 1vx build i'm just kind of showcase you guys like how incredibly potent this set is and the only downside is that you have to double bar, but who gives a fuck? So we we'll kind of cut it short here, and we kind of phase transition over into the video, and I'll see you there. Okay, guys, so we're just gonna kind of let this roll. Uh, I'm not really commentate this too much. I can leave this for a combat analysis later, but I want you to take a look at my magic pool. This is all an 800 recovery. I do not have a restoration staff, nor am I really watching my resources whatsoever. I'm not heavy attacking, I'm doing absolutely nothing. I'm spamming wings, I'm over buffing my spells. How that heavy attack miss is beyond me. Zoss, fix fucking heavy attacks for the love of God. <laughs> like, come on, that was like directly on him. Like, do I have to rewind that? But, 800 recovery. What other class, what other build can you run 800 recovery and still have this amount of magic to sustain. Like, I know it seems like I'm pretty low, but going into this fight, I was completely outnumbered. Like, I, I shouldn't even been alive. But I did go for one resto pool there. I doubt that I'll go for very many more. And even though it looks like I'm low on resources, I still have an ult that's going to give me over half my resource pull back. And plus, now I'm getting hit again, I actually start proccing. Like, look at my magicka. It's bouncing up 8 to 10%, like every 2 seconds. It's absolutely incredible. Look, I'm on my back bar the entire time. I'm not heavy attacking, I'm just applying buffs. I haven't used my ult in God knows how long. I should probably already use it two times by now. But look, my entire time spent on my back bar, I'm still pretty much damn near full of resources. It's incredible. I have never ran out of magic on this build. There's never been a moment where I'm like, oh fuck, you know. <laughs> I really need to watch my resources and, and and this allows you to do so much with the mag DK like one of the worst feelings in the world is like okay I have uh, half my resources I really have to watch what I do now I have to alter my play style to compensate for my lack of sustain you see that fucking leap Zoss please come on come on it did absolutely zero damage like as if mag DK is not hard enough come on throw us some bones so uh, I will kind of end this on like a, a little bit of a commentating uh Type of build but yeah of course this is right next to the town anyone I kill is just gonna come right back uh, you notice here even though this is a combat analysis I am blocking randomly 
I'm blocking randomly for the simple fact that I have so much fucking stamina I don't know what to do with. And also, if I get caught with a Donnie spin to win, I'm just gonna fucking die. So this whole time, I'm just blocking randomly. And you'll see I actually blocked two Dawn Breakers, and that dude just got completely run over. <laughs> so these two chased me around for like five minutes. It was really annoying. And then I finally got the jump. This dude got caught with his pants down and got the burst from old Horcrux here. So thank God for the, the lightning proc. But, but yeah, you, you see I caught him in the middle of his Donnie animation. Spin the wind. Boom. Non K leap. And this guy comes back. And I mean, he's he's just fucking dead at this point. So, like, look at my resources, guys. Look, look, look. I'm at three quarters the whole time. Near infinite sustain. It's baffling. How good this set is. So I'm going to transition back to the game here. And all this on 800 match recovery. If you want the build. Uh, it's my latest uh, mag DK build. I can leave a card somewhere. But I just want to take a moment to explain to you guys. And appreciate this set for any magic character. Maybe not so much for Sork. Um, but um, any class that you're going to be in the midst of people. You know, a DK is a prime example. A Templar is a really good example. Necro. Um, Warden, anything of that, that nature, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal set. It's super cheap, and I really highly recommend it to you guys, especially if you're new to the PvP or you just want something quick and easy and just throw it together. Please, for the love of God, get you a set of Desert Rose. Horcrux swears by it. This is by far one of my most favorite sets. I would almost compare it to Amberplasm, which is my favorite set. This is definitely a runner up at number two. So. Um, just want to take a moment to, uh, you know, get some kudos for Zoss for putting this set in the game. And uh, give it a try on your builds. Kind of let me know down in the comments of what you think. Is there another sustained set that I'm missing that might be better than Desert Rose? Because if there is, by all means, please let me know. Because I definitely want to test it out. And, yeah, uh, this has been Horcrux. Really hope uh, you kind of enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't really keep it too secretive or really go into all the mathematics of that. Because I really don't want to bore you guys. But, uh, again... Thank you so much for my Patreon supporters, Jeremiah and Chris. You guys are insurmountably invaluable to this channel, and I really appreciate your support. And with all that being said, guys, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.